There, so there is no subway. Mr. Ford, it's time it, for you to go because your gravy train has turned into a train wreck. Enough is enough. Just because you're saying it doesn't mean it is true. It's, you are embarrassing our city. And how could you get away with this kind of crazy line? Folks, these are the numbers from the uh, CFO. These are not my numbers. I have saved the taxpayers a billion dollars, just like I said I was going to do. Panel, dive in if you wish. The issue is fine. Everybody can talk about tax tax increase. increase. Mr. Mr. Ex-Budget Chief, everybody can talk about saving money. You've all had an opportunity to do it. I have done it. No, you haven't. I have. have, have, have I've seen the tax increase in the city's history. David, you know as well as I do, when you were budget chief, you caused this mess. That I had to clean up. I've cleaned it up. We're and not going you back. The surplus. We're not. We're not That's going. We're, 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 we're not going back through the to the tax and spend that was ADP given days by our budgets. It, 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 just now, he's run out. He's run out of gas. That's the problem. Whatever he's done in the past three years, and that's a subject of great debate. He's run out of gas. He's not able to get anything through the city yeah. council anymore. I come, I come from the private sector. I know but how to meet a payroll. Ford, I, I know. I, I, I know I'm how to meet the private sector too. But maybe I could just. Maybe I could just. You know, take on this complacency, Boris, because you're sitting there when it comes to jobs. You talk about your own family company. I respect that. But at the end of the day, you say, I've already done it. And yet we sit here today, and you're kind of saying the city is booming, is booming. when we have 18%, well, thousands and thousands of kids who don't have good. a job, and thousands and thousands of adults who don't have a job. And you say, John, don't worry, you folks, it's booming. You the province, and you fall flat on your face. Bob, I hear you talk a lot about respect for the taxpayer. But we know respect has many attributes. And yes, it's important to remember that we work for the taxpayer. Everybody here works for the taxpayer. That's why we get elected. It is to them that we serve. But we also have an obligation to be role models. And it is also that respect that we need to show the people who send us here and do them proud. You can't just let private sector run their business, okay? I don't really need to take any lessons from you because we're not on the golf course right now. I don't need to take any can't, lessons can't from you. you. But hang can't on you. a second, Mr. Can't you Can just I? fess up to the fact you're the NDP candidate oh. for mayor? And you have admitted to smoking crack cocaine. There is a police investigation underway into you as we speak. You have said in the past you're not perfect, but people do expect a lot from the chief magistrate. How can voters trust good judgment in you? Cynthia, um, people have heard the story. It's rewind, rewind, rewind. People know my track record. They know they can go to sleep at night knowing that their tax dollars are being watched. You can carry on about someone's personal life, and I'm the first one to say I'm not perfect. Maybe these people are, and everyone else says, I have a proven track record of success watching taxpayers' money.